What's up guys, Matco Michaels here. So let's go take a look, see what he's got. <laughs> so y'all pool expoing it this weekend, that's huh? That's right. We're leaving. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow morning we're gonna fly out and we're gonna be gone through Thursday. So we're gonna go out there and pick out some good new stuff and put it on a Facebook page and get as much as we can. We'll be looking for the C and UPS pull up with all the new stuff. That's right. You can go play. We like new stuff. Good deal. I'm trying to limp on it. Oh. Well, I like the Matco socks. I have to say, I do like them a lot. That's good. They don't seem like they. I think they're gonna be hot in the summertime because they don't seem like they breathe that uh, good. But I as far as comfort level, yeah, I have not worn them in the summertime, so I can't. I can't contest to that. But I do know they're constantly selling. So the people that's worn them before really like them. So we'll see. I like them. I, I don't know if they come in the ankle sock version. I got a lot of people requesting that, so I got to look and see. Um, I would like some of those as well if they do, but uh -huh. I haven't found that just yet. Well, if you can get them in the ankles, I'll take some of them too. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't know if they have them or not, but I'm going to look and see for sure. I like them though. Like, I like them good enough to uh, buy another pair. That's buy right. another pair. I'll tell you something else that I'm looking for. It's kind of an oddball thing, those Dutch connector removal tools. <laughs> I just sold the set yesterday. Let me see. Um, let me see when they're coming back in. Well, we just broke a set yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what's funny is I had them on the truck and everybody was like, what are these for? What are these for? And uh, I never could. I, don't, no, I thought that was it at first because I have seen I had one a that's set like of that. Them, yeah. um, and finally a guy that worked, uh, he works with uh, Atomic Transport. He does 18 wheel uh, yeah. repair and stuff. And uh, see if that'll work for what you need. But uh, he bought them. He bought those and another set. But let me, I think they should be in Monday or Tuesday of next week. All right. I'll just swing them around. You're talking about the socks. My wife stole all three pair of mine. I ain't got the first pair now. Sounds like you need to go back there. Or something Sounds like table. you need to buy some more. While you <laughs> I got know. Them. She'll steal them too. <laughs> She can't wear six pairs at one time, Wally. Well, no, she done dirtied them all up. That's why you buy like 12 pairs, and that way you got some to wear for this week, and she does too. <laughs> That's right. That's how you fix that, Wally. We'll just buy them every week. Just keep buying socks. Ma Michael said that won't hurt his feelings not I one just, bit. That won't hurt my feelings at all, guys. Just buy them, buy them, buy them. Oh, shoot. Well, one of the new items that I put back for y'all to see this week I didn't show my forward places. They might get mad at me when they find out, but we have a new lock rod release tool for the Fords. Okay. So they got a major recall going on. And I say major. From what I hear from all the Ford dealerships, they're doing a lot of them. That's the only reason I call it major. But it helps take the lock rod off, and supposedly it makes it a lot easier. So I had one of the guys talking about it, and I had to do some research, and it had just come out. So he's going to get that this week, and that should make his day on that. But any of the Ford techs, be sure and ask your dealer for it. That way, maybe that recall is a little less painful. We all know recalls usually eat our lunch. Um, <laughs> most of the time, we get shafted on the timing. Yep. Some of them we get good timing on, some of them we don't. But That's right. What you getting today, Wally? I'm thinking about this race punch. Ma, are you thinking about a race punch? <laughs> Because what we're about to have to do in there. No kidding. I heard about that. Oh. So rear end and all that right there? Yeah. yeah. Dude, like if you Google Nightmare today, it's going to pop us up right at the top. <laughs> yes. so I, I figured that when you texted me last time. I figured it <laughs> this was. This is going to be bad. Bad, bad, bad. Ooh, I got bad. one. This is just a long reach. So you get a tray in? Yeah, yeah, sort of. Kind of. How much is that one? Uh, 30 bucks. Old school, ain't it? Yeah, it's it's not it's not the latest and greatest, but I mean overall, it's it's a good ratchet.
for the beet. Good ranch it. I brought some Tylenol with me that way I can solve that beat. I'm sure y'all are all going to have headaches after a while. <laughs> we need a damn IV. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got none of them laying on here, dude. I ain't got none of that one. What's the leaves right here with the little flex head? Let me look it up and see. You know what I don't have, Molly? What's that? The one tool that I don't have a single, not one, single Matco ratchet. Well, not he a said one. He said he can fix that. Not a one. I'll try them boots on real quick. P D thirty three. How long is that one? Long enough. Lord, I don't know. One ninety one. This one is. Is that not the same one Bill had? Yeah. You know what he said. That, that Bill had. Yeah, I caught that. I wonder what happened. I don't know. You might as well buy that, Wally. You've looked at it every time you come over here. You're licking your chops. 8395 for the three piece disconnect set for the. Are they metal? Yeah, they're metal with a plastic handle. It says they're made especially for. Those connectors. And you'll have them probably next week? Yeah. All right. Now there's a, this is the one I had on the truck. I think it's 121. I can verify that, but it's a seven piece. Which one, would you rather have the three or the seven? I don't know. Most of it's going to be the smaller size, but you never know. Yeah. Well, that's. Let me make sure on that price. One's 89, one's 120. I think. Let me verify this uh, seven piece. Deutsch. I don't know if that's German or French. I know it ain't American. It's Dutch. One's, yeah, one's 117, one's 83. So. Yeah, just give me the bigger set, I guess. I think they're actually all metal, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Not a plastique. Well, that's what we'll go with. Well, guys, I'm going to get me a pair of red backs and uh, this old wore out scrap iron ratchet. Well, you got Wally. I uh, think that race punch, and that's going to be it for me today. Oh, you ain't going to buy the little soldering kit? Not yet. Looked at it for 37 days in a row. I ain't going to buy it. You know what'll happen, you'll want it next week. Yeah, I'll know I'll need it next week. He <laughs> won't have it if they sold it. How much are these little boogers right here? Uh, I think they're like 58. Five time warranty. Yeah, they're like 58. I don't think I got the little bitty ones. Do I got one outside? I don't think That's so, I know I don't. Huh? Yeah, I yeah. got a pair of them. Well, actually, okay. I got two pair of them. I done lost one of them. Keep on, man. <laughs> Look at a comparison. New and used. Mm -hmm. Night and day difference. And mine looked worse than that. But I, <laughs> I use crap out of mine. I can't believe I left these in the Jeep. You better be glad I'm an honest guy because I lost mine and you lost yours and I found yours. Thank you, Shiloh. <laughs> I wouldn't go keep your tools because I find I'm hoping if you find mine you'll be like, hey, look what I got. Mm -hmm. Cause uh I do miss them. We had a special attachment. <laughs> we done a lot of stuff we ship with little pliers. <laughs> Too much information there. No, I'm talking about like them little pliers worked on stuff that big pliers should have been working on. I'm hoping I can find one of those. Huh? I hear a lot of that out of these. Oh, them little bitty ones? Oh my God, they Man, you can pull one. nails. I mean, I've done. I've had a lot of. Um, a lot of stuff. I've had a lot of like record drivers buy them. And one of the stories that I got out of them was that there's a motorcycle wreck and the handlebars had got stuck and they used the little bitty ones to take the top 
bolt out to be able to turn it. Yeah. I was like, good grief. Man, I've, like, I've used them things right there for a lot of stuff they wouldn't even thought about or designed to be used. I've heard it from tow truck drivers. I've heard it from uh, equipment operators that say that they'll have something go down and they'll use those. And I'm like, oh. so I, you know. Well, like fencing, I have used them right there. I've taken gates off. I've put gates up. And ain't no telling how many pull posts that I've wrapped wire around and pulled tight. And, you look know. at that right there. I mean, that's biting. Well, well that one. I didn't have it <laughs> good enough. Yep. They work, man. They okay, just bite. Man. They're good. So here's what I ended up with, guys. You don't want to see the part number of these. The PC6. Nip X. Nip X, whatever you want to call them. Another pair of socks, brand new boots, and the old wore out ratchet. While I got the race punch, and Bill's having a bell turn the cold work <laughs> on the trailer. You feel sorry for him, Wally? A little bit. I do too. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's our video. Be sure to go check out Michael's page on Facebook. Just search for Matco Michael, and uh, you should be able to find it. Like always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. That way you get the newest, latest, greatest junk we got to show you guys. Y'all have a great weekend, and we'll catch you next time.